Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Umi Digi S2 Pro. Now you can buy this from AliExpress or Gearbest. I'll throw the links up in the description. The price on this one, 300 bucks. Now this is the updated version of the Umi Digi S2. Now I've been using this one for about a month and this is a good mid-range phone. So the S2 Pro, this one should be even better. All right, so let's check this one out. Shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. Umi Digi S2 Pro, let's go through the specs real quick. Now for the CPU, you got the MediaTek Helio P25, that's 2.5 gigahertz. Now it's running Android 7.0, Nugget. Shout out to the Nugget boys, fresh out of the box. Now check this out, you get six gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of storage. All right, for 300 bucks, this is a heavy hidden mid-range phone. Now this phone does feature dual SIM slots, and you also got a micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now check this out, battery, 5,100 milliamps, and it does feature quick charge. This is a heavy hitter. Now you got a six inch display, that's full HD, that's resolution uh, 1080 by 2160. Now check out the cameras. You got a dual camera set up on the rear. So one is 13 megapixels, another one is five megapixels. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel camera. Now this is a GSM phone. All right, so AT&T and T-Mobile, you're good to go. Verizon and Sprint, you asked out. Now the phone is water resistant and you got the unibody metal design. All right, so let's check this out. Now real quick, presentation. If you're buying this as a gift for somebody, that's pretty important. And Umi Digi, they do it good with the presentation. This one is no different. All right, link to the world. Here we go. Now inside the box, let's go through the small boxes first. And they're labeled USB cable. Now check this out, similar to OnePlus, you get the red USB cable. Check out what, one thing I just noticed, no headphone jack, but if you notice, USB Type-C. All right, so there's your adapter, four bag zerks. Check out the USB, uh, USB Type-C charging cable. It comes with the cable management clips. It's red in color <laughs> and it's tangle free. All right, so you gotta love that. Zerks, don't eat the cables. Let's see what else you get in here. Now this is gonna be your charging brick. All right, this is the international version. File that to the side. Now, <laughs> chill, Zerks, don't get scared. Now, I don't need that one, but y'all seen how big that is. It is um, fast charge capable. All right, Zerks, you good? Calm down. All right, my bad. <laughs> all right, let's, let, let's, let's all calm down. Let's all calm down. All right, let's get to the phone. <laughs> Shout out to Xerxes. All right, my bad. I ain't mean to scare you like that. Xerxes is my dude. All right, here we go. So here's your phone. Now, real quick, let's check this out. Usual books and shit. Pluck them, file them to the side. Here's your SIM ejection tool. We're gonna need that. And here's your phone. All right, Zerks, you got the box, get busy. Here's your phone. Now the phone does come with a case on it. And if you look at the case, it's kind of like the sandstone case that you find on your OnePlus 5. Very nice though. This is a quality case, silicone material. You get it for free. Let's get this plastic out of here. Say it with me, y'all. Rah. One more for the front. Rah. Now the red color on this phone definitely looks beautiful. Check out the uh, check out the design on this. Hold up, let me grab the S2. All right, so here's the S2 and the S2 Pro. They pretty much look similar, but with the S2 you get an Android 6, and with the S2 Pro you get an Android 7, more RAM, better cameras, just better upgrades. All right, so on one side, here's your power button. Let's hit the power on this, see if we got any juice. Now these phones pretty, pretty much boot up fast. There's your volume up and down. 16 megapixel camera in the front. The other side is your SIM tray, which also has your dual SIM slots. On the bottom, there's your mic, USB Type-C, your speakers. On the back, 13 megapixel camera, five megapixel camera, another mic, fingerprint sensor, and that's pretty much it, no headphone jack. All right, so let's see, uh, let's see how fast this takes to go to your uh, Android home screen. Then I'll pause the video, I'll put my information in, and we'll breeze through the OS, check out the camera, check out the speakers, we'll uh, see what it looks like. All right, just like that. On your welcome screen. All right, so let me drop my information in and we'll talk about this in a second. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a few minutes. And I got to be honest with y'all, for 300 bucks, this is a go. All right, this is a great mid-range phone. Now, let's be clear. This is not a trap phone. Now, when I say trap phone, I mean a phone that's 250 bucks and under. So that's a budget phone, a throwaway phone, 
a phone that you use for your scumbag tactics, a phone for the kids, 12 years and younger, a phone for the old folks, maybe over 70, they don't really care about tech, something like the Blue Life One X3. Now, y'all know the difference between real Frosted Flakes and fake Frosted Flakes? The real Frosted Flakes, they're great. The fake Frosted Flakes, they're food. Well, it's the same concept with these phones. This is a phone. Uh, you can make phone calls with it. You can send text messages. You can take some pictures. You can use all the Android apps. It does have a good battery life, but performance-wise, it's pretty much trash. You could never use this as a daily driver. It has way too much lag. So this is a trap phone, 150 bucks. This is a mid-range phone, 300 to 500 bucks. Now, would I put this on the same level as a OnePlus 5T? No. Now the OnePlus 5T, that's 500 bucks, so that's borderline premium. It's still mid-range price, but that's basically a premium phone. This is a mid-range phone. You could definitely use this as your backup phone if you got an iPhone and you wanna play around with Android phones, but you don't wanna spend a thousand bucks on a Pixel. This is a good option right here. All right, so let's talk about this one real quick. Build quality, excellent. You got the unibody metal design. The red color does look nice. Feels good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures. Nothing cheap looking or feeling about this phone. All right, so shout out to Umi. They do it big. All right, so let's check the fingerprint sensor on this. Fingerprint sensor does work, but if you notice, it's not the fastest in the world. You gotta, you gotta actually rest your finger on it for a second. It's not like the Pixel where you just tap. You're gonna actually have to rest your finger on it for a second, but it does open. All right, not the fastest in the world, but it gets the job done. Display. Now this is a full HD display, all right, that's 2160, do the math for yourself, and it looks great. Let's put this up to uh, max brightness. We'll take off auto. Nice viewing angles on this. Like I said, I've been using the S2, pretty much the same thing. The display is, is pretty good on this one. All right, so let's go through some of the features real quick. Now, if y'all remember the old Ume phones, it used to have more of a stock Android feel. Now they got a skin on this one. I don't know the name of the skin, but it's definitely a skin. You can see the difference um, in the uh, app icons. Now, some of the other app icons, they still look the same, all your basic Google ones, but they got a lot of other stuff in here. Let's see, system apps. They got a, a little bit of bloatware on this one, but it is what it is. Now, let's see how much apps I'm downloading. All right, 16 out of 100 and some change. So that's gonna affect the speed a little bit, but we'll go through this anyway. All right, so let's, uh, let's check out the UI. All right, so here's your toggles at the top. Let's go to settings. Let's see if we got NFC in this piece. <laughs> All right, no, no NFC. All right, it is what it is. 300 bucks. All right, you got to deal what you got to deal. Let's see. Uh, let's go to display. All right, you can change your color temperatures. Okay, that's pretty cool. We'll F around with that later. We'll do sleep after uh, 30 minutes. I like to leave these on. All right, now you do got a little bit of gestures. All right, so here's your world star button. Hit the uh, power button twice for the camera. Now let's see, let's see how long this takes to actually start fallback search. Let's try that again now. All right, I gotta activate, let me activate the camera real quick, the permissions. All right, so here we go. Now let's try the world star button. All right, two clicks. It's gonna take you to your camera. Not the fastest in the world, all right, but it gets the job done. Let's do a point and shoot. Okay. And here's your photo. All right, now the photo looks decent. Matter of fact, since we're talking about photos, let's take a look at the camera app. Let's see what we got on deck. Okay, so you got your HDR. Let's go to settings. You got slow motion, watermark, time lapse, and beauty video. Let's see, uh, blah, 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 13. Let's go, let's see maximum size on this. We'll leave it at 13. Uh, camera screen brightness, you can change that. Volume, you got your volume key functions, grid, face detection, video quality. Let's see what the max is. We'll put it on high. Touch shot, self timer, anti flickering, and default settings. All right, so let's see. Um, let's swipe over. All right, so there's your video. 1080p is the max. No, you got 4K video. Check this out. I right, have 4K video. Hey, right, can't complain about that. <laughs> I know, I know. Beauty. Let's see, you got your face, and now check this out. You got the Buka effect, all right? Now, that's also known as portrait mode. So let's see if we can do a little portrait, little portrait shot, and see how that comes out. 
We'll put it on maximum bookage. <laughs> maximum bookage. Let's see if I get Xerxes in the picture. There we go. Let's look, see how that looks. Okay, so here's your Buka effect. Eh, it is blurry. All right, the background is blurry, so technically it does work. Is it the best? No. Now we'll have to take it in some better light in and we'll play around with it outside. But again, their food is going to get the job done. All right. This is not going to replace your Galaxy uh, Note 8. And you got your front facing camera. Let's see. You got your Instagram filters. All right. So this is a fully functional camera. Let's take it back to the settings real quick. Let's see. Did we miss anything else? Okay. Then uh, this, this, uh, <laughs> this does have Dora speed. All right, so that's supposed to speed up your phone a little bit. You got an LED notification light, eyebrow mode, <laughs> eyebrow mode. Okay, uh, that's blue light filter. That's cool. So when you're checking your Instagram notifications in the middle of the night, you won't get blinded. Let's see. You got anti theft. Okay, anti theft. Play with that if you want. Let's see. Schedule power on and off. Okay, pretty much it. All right, so for the gestures. That looks like the only one. Let's go to display one more time and just check. Now you do got screencasts on this and it does have S view settings. So they probably have an S view case somewhere. That's pretty much it. I don't see any gestures. Let's see, can we change these buttons around? Uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it though. Nope, let's turn this on. Uh, charge, battery, missed calls, incoming calls. Let's see, can we change this? Red, blue, and green. All right, since the phone is red, we'll leave it on red. That's pretty much it. So the main gesture you got is your world star button. Now, you might miss the first slap, but by the time you hit that button twice, you'll be in time to catch the second slap. All right, let's see. Let's 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 uh, go through some other stuff. Let's check the speakers on this phone real quick. Let me pull up Bike Life. All right, so here we go. So we'll check the speakers and we'll see how the display looks when you're watching videos. Now the speaker actually doesn't sound too bad. Let me let y'all hear it a little better. Here's the display. Now, of course, I got the darkest video online, but it's good to test displays with dark videos because if they look good with this, then it's going to look good with colors. Speaker sounds pretty good. Now, it's only your bottom firing, but it sounds good. Let's check our uh, multitasking. Okay, so you got your multitasking on deck. Clear those out. Basically, this is a good mid-range phone so far. Now, it's not silky smooth, but I can't say it's lagging too much because I am downloading apps in the background at the same time. And this is not a high-end phone, so it's not going to process everything the same. Once everything is finished downloading, I've been using the S2 Minimum lag, I wouldn't say 100% lag free, minimum lag, you do get a little bit of stutters here and there. The biggest stutter I noticed with this phone is with the fingerprint sensor. All right, sometimes it takes a little bit longer to open than I would like. So basically I usually just use my pattern. Not a real bezel-less display, but small bezels on deck. Overall, for 300 bucks, I would say this is a definite mid-range phone, and it's a quality mid-range phone. You got a 5,001 uh, 5, milliamp battery, so that's gonna last you all day long. Let's see how much battery you got on this. 40%, that's gonna last you all day. It does feature quick charge, it is water resistant. You got a nice build quality on this, comes with a case. If you gave this phone to somebody as a gift, even a gift to yourself, and this is gonna be your backup phone, it's gonna get the job done. Anyway, that's the Umi Digi S2 Pro. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. All right, one more thing. Let's check the internet browsing speeds. All right, so we'll take it to the web. Let's go to uh, apple.com. Let's see. Apple.com. There's the full website. Internet browsing speeds up to par with everything else. Nothing to complain about. 
Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Foxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get the drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls. Close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spot two to beam up. Me and Zerx. Hi right, Zerx, let's get up out of here. Energize.